So on we go. No coins, that's kind of sad. But where's the next scam? Well, then again, I should put scam in quotes, because we haven't been doing much scamming. We got plenty of coins, though, so can we go get jawbreakers? <laughs> yes, we can. Hmm, this should work. Latin. Eh, I don't get it. Why is it, like, brownish, brownish green? It should... A real Latin Jawbreaker, I think, would be more colored yellow. Only because that's the color of Mexico on most cut worldwide maps, but, eh. Hmm, this should work. Do we have enough coins? <laughs> my, my. Intriguing. You don't have enough money to buy a vintage Jawbreaker. We'll my, piss off. My. Intriguing. Where's Eddie's Japan flavor? There's a haunted house, a movie booth, and a construction site. Looks like the construction site's where we gotta go. Boxes! Boxes! Coins! Next level. Yes, I do. I want one of those badges. The only member of those of that group of rangers that um, Rolf runs are Rolf, Jimmy, and Johnny. Come on, guys. Then you can see defeat to the last victor. I will present the badge to Kevin. Kevin? Wait a minute. What? Gonna let Shovelton get that badge. We accept your challenge. Let's not be hasty, Eddie. So, it looks like we're gonna be getting a badge. In order to get the badge, we have to do an obstacle course. Let's go. As current champion, it is your rightful duty to ensure that they do not succeed. It'll be oh, God. <laughs> Ed on arrival. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Double D, especially is basically Ed on arrival because he can't do physical stuff, you know? Okay. Now, here is where mo- this- I know that fans of the show did enjoy this game overall, at least according to the Ed and Eddie wiki. And this is their favorite level. And honestly, I think this was my favorite level when I played this. <laughs> All right, so the yellow and red ones have to be brought down by Ed. And I can't believe I did that with looking away. Yeah, that's why I teach you. God, I don't know how to speak sentences. Coin! Don't want to let it drown. Cool. Oh, God. At least the barrels respawn. So... It's good to know we're not on a time limit, either. Uh, Alright, this is double D. I would presume, anyway. Yep, and it looks like we need the Tower of Eddie! Uh, let's give them some credit. At least that balance beam would probably support the three of them. Not like a piece of wood. Oh, God. That would have been deadly if we were hit by a bunch of nuts. But, eh. Looks like we can break this. 
some money. That was cool. Alright, we need double D. We need to kill this thing. Up, oh, we can't throw. Not from here. Or wait, can we hit it? Can he do it? Can he do it? How very disappointing, Ed. If you could lift a fucking house, I'm pretty sure you could throw that barrel like an inch further. But whatever. Drown! Alright. Oh, nope, I want Ed. I want Ed. Let's see what's in this hidden path. Woodpecker! Don't have to say that twice, Ed. You don't have to keep laughing either. Oh my, intriguing. Also, according to the Ed and Eddie Wiki, um, critics pan this game because of its repetitive vo vocal and sound effects, and I could see why. But pff, at least it's, they're not ear grating to listen to. At least it matches the show. Ed laughed all the time in the show, so I don't see what the problem is. I mean, if Ed was just a complete idiot that was also a prick, like Patrick is in a lot of modern in a, in a lot of modern SpongeBob episodes, then yeah, it would be justified to hate him. But no, he's more of a lovable goofball because eh, he doesn't know better legitimately. By the way, I keep getting messages. So, what do I... Oh, my God. Hey, if you don't like Ed's laughing, I'm sparing you from it, so I don't see a problem with this. Ugh, these are... I'm just... I just I got a couple of comments on. Uh, just some usual people commenting some stuff on the new Piglet video that just got uploaded like an hour ago. And I'm sorry I had to interrupt the video for this. So I'll probably cut that part out. Oh, God. We have, sorry, we have ourselves a little physical challenge. Watch it. What? Ah, losers. That was pretty funny. <laughs> So Eddie gets knocked back, he falls in the water, and then Double D and Ed commit suicide with him. Friends to the end, I guess. Go, go, go! Cool. Not good. Need Ed. And Double D to open the gate. Am my way, Ed? My, my. Intriguing. Use your head on those glowing things, Ed! Uh-oh! Oh. Okay, Eddie! <gasps> We're playing whack and shimmy Let's do this! I hit Jimmy right there. I got focused, I'm sorry! This is a golden opportunity. This is much better than using the pointy thing on your head to blow up rabbit balloons. And, but Ed doesn't have a pointy thing on his head. And Jimmy has cloned himself, apparently. Oh, shit. Cool. Alright, looks like we go through here to progress. But what's over here? <laughs> Jawbreaker! My favorite food group. Next to gravy. Next to what? Oh, gravy. Yes! Gravy! G-R-A-V-Y! Gravy! Yum! And by the way, the word gravy is what made Double D lose the spelling bee. So, yeah. Don't remind him of that. Ouchie. 
<laughs> Who saw that episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, huh? It was in season five. It's when people claim that the show is going through seasonal rot. I don't think the show went through seasonal rot. It's just that. A sandbox is not a place to do one's laundry. Can't believe I said nothing at Double D's comments. Jesus. Of how a sandbox is not meant to be a place for someone to do laundry. Well, why was that costume in there in the first place? Damn. Alright, Eddie. Well, then again, um... Why do we need to find these costume pieces? Why wouldn't Eddie have them lying around somewhere? Oh, wait! Ed probably hid them and forgot where he put them. Just like Eddie's dirty magazines. But, eh. Yeah, I know they don't say outright state their dirty magazines in the, the episode itself, but come on, that's what he had if he was so desperate to hide them. Okay, well, get down. My, my, intriguing. Oh, get down. By the way, in the comments, talk about any Ed and Eddie episodes you remember. I remember one episode when Naz had to go babysit Eddie. Yeah, try to find out that logic that a kid... Who, a 12-year-old kid needs to be babysat by another kid who's about his age. She can make mac and cheese, but hey, any teenager who learns how to cook can do it. Well, they're, they're not teenagers. They're like kind of preteens going on teenage age, but eh. I thought they were gonna die from that, but nope, they're cool. And we have to get a battery part, looks like. I'll have to switch to double D for this. Now we can use the trample ed. How we? Oh, that's how. Got some monies. Now yeah, we're gonna have to watch it. Oh wait, we need Tower of Eddie. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Damn. Pick up. Fuck. How do you pick it up? It's been... Oh, God. Jesus. Why would Eddie not be able to pick it up? All right, screw this. Maybe Double D does have to pick it up or something. Nope, that's not at all what we have to do. Uh, we'll come back and get it later then. And I like how that thing just commits suicide. That was great. And we need health if we want to try that, try that again. And since we don't have a psychotic... Um, thingamajig trying to kill us. Let's try this again. Square is to pick up. Well, guess what? 
I was fucking pressing square over there, and he wasn't picking it up. So, Eddie's got some issues right now. Maybe he's trying to piss me off. Because I didn't give him money for that scam he made me fall for. Oh, look! Dark! And the battery just blew up because a rat bit Eddie and he dropped it. So, Eddie's gonna get rabies on top of having to go back and get that battery. Cool. Or wait, can rats be carriers of rabies? I don't know. Right, we need that point. We need that cool point. Okay. Orb of coolness. Okay. I thought that's in Machina, but no, it's Machine. Ugh. Been playing Final Fantasy X recently, so... Never really played ten two all that much. Well, I'm about to get that opportunity. When I finally beat ten. Yeah, that's where we place it. Nice. Now let's go back and get the yellow one. Orange one, I mean. Get it! Run! Cool. Now Ed's running a little faster because he knows we got it and we're not going to get an opportunity like this again. Good. Alright. Um... And the blue one is up there. Yep. Right here. Nice. Alright, tightrope, tightrope. Blocks of wood, that probably wouldn't support their weight, but hey, at least it's supported, so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, we probably have to walk back, because if we fall, the battery doesn't go with it. Wow, then why did we... Shit. <laughs> Gold coin, cool. Ed?! Jesus Christ, Ed! Thank you. When you can't jump that high, you either need to pull yourself up, or just stop being an idiot. That's all I can recommend to you. Fucking bullshit. Uh, try again. Practice. You'll get this right eventually, boys. Alright, now go down. <gasps> Is that a chicken? Chip, 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 chip. We'll have to chase it in the next video. So exciting.